Another important trait that David has shown over the years is that he's an excellent communicator. I'll give you an example to prove this. So one night as I'm sitting in the house, I get a phone call from David, which instantly means something's clearly wrong as David would never voluntarily phone me. To which I answer the phone to a rather hysterical David, begging me not to laugh at him before telling me he's had a wee afternoon drink in the house and accidentally locked himself inside the dog cage in the living room. <laughs> So obviously, I hung up the phone, immediately burst out laughing, and phoned Dean to go and rescue him. So as we went round to break him free from his new prison, <laughs> carried him to his bed with some difficulty, he mumbles away to us just how much he loves us. Once again showing that under pressure, he has the ability to communicate just how much he feels. So Nicola, I say you found a gem here. <laughs>
Not quite calm, it was just me. <laughs> a happiness and a grin that he still keeps to this day, albeit just a bit uglier. <laughs> I think we also need to acknowledge the, mo the woman that shaped Davy into the man he is. Marjorie, you've done one hell of a job raising this one. All that really remains for us now to do is kindly ask everyone to stand and raise the glass once again. This time for the beautiful bride and groom, we wish you a long and happy life together to the bride and groom. There is no better way to live on this earth than to be friends. Friends who will always love and stand by each other till life's end. Friends who will share their lives together through good times and bad and who will bring joy and comfort to each other when times are sad. Friends who will always stand together and stand strong to help share life's burdens to help each other carry on. Through the tears, through the pain, through the sun and through the rain, no matter what happens to them, it's friends who will always remain. And so it is that your friendship now has grown into love and into marriage, into a love that is so beautiful to see. So may your love and your friendship, as you begin life together, last you for an eternity. And as friends, may you both forever be. David and Nicola, you have chosen to marry. You have pledged your love, respect for, and commitment to each other. You have promised to stand by each other through the joys or sorrows that you may face in life. And so, following the declarations made before me and in the presence of you, the witnesses, it is now my most pleasant duty to pronounce you, David and Nicola, to be husband and wife. <laughs> So, David and Nicola, you have been many things to one another. An acquaintance, a friend, companion, lover, dancing partner, and most especially a teacher. For you have learned much from one another these past few years. But today, you have said a few words that will take you across the threshold of life. And after today, you shall say to the world, this is my husband, this is my wife. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're able, please stand and raise this roof for our amazing couple, Mr. and Mrs. Dickey. Woo!